Have you ever thought about what would happen if you were unable to move pigs for multiple days or even weeks? Think through the number of times you wean pigs or sell market hogs in any given week. What would happen if you were unable to make those moves? Would you have a space to hold those weaned pigs? Would your finisher become overcrowded? Would you need a strategy on what to do with your coal sows that were supposed to be shipped? If a foreign animal disease came to the U.S., first, state and federal regulatory officials will restrict animal movement to slow or stop the spread of these foreign animal diseases. We don't know how long we will have to stop movement because it could vary depending on the unique circumstances of the outbreak, but it will probably last at least 72 hours. If your animals are located very close to an infected farm, you may be within a designated control area and you will not be able to move your animals without a movement permit for some time. Certain criteria will need to be met in order to get a permit to move your animals. Guidance for requesting movement permits can be found in the Secure Pork Supply Plan. For example, to request a movement permit, you will need biosecurity measures in place that are acceptable to a, a responsible regulatory official, no evidence of infection based on daily observation of your animals, and a destination willing to take your animals. Iowa State University Swine Extension wants to help producers understand what the state and federal response might include and how the resources in the Secure Pork Supply Plan can help them prepare for a foreign animal disease outbreak. We are offering a variety of workshops, webinars, and individual or small group assistance with developing a secure pork supply plan, including a biosecurity map and enhanced biosecurity plan for individual farms. For more information, please check out our website or email us at ipic at iastate.edu.